All right, so this is a long time coming for those of you that have seen some of my other videos where I talked about this little fanny pack I have on here. Because there's literally no storage underneath this back seat. It's uh, just really not much under there. So in here, I've got my uh, air pump, tire kit, bottle of water, a couple of wrenches for the bike. Um, and it's a, a Puma, like a $9 Puma fanny pack. So I, I really hate that being there. So what I did is I ordered a new seat and a pod from Sargent Cycles. So let me get this off and I'll get the uh, Sargent on and we'll take a look at it. Um, there's no real big installation. You just gotta take, take it off. Um, first, let me unbuckle this sophisticated piece of equipment here. So I'll transfer everything from here into the pod later. Okay, so under here I've got the tool kit. That'll get transferred underneath the pod. And under here I've got my owner's manual that'll also get transferred. Okay, got the seat in the back seat and front seat off here. As you can see, this is the storage area. Right now I've got my quad lock smart uh, adapter in here. And there's really not much else you can fit in here. The front seat, Sergeant. There's the logo. Got the red well uh, st stitching there along the edge. <clears throat> so this really t ties into all the different red accents I've put on the bike. And underneath, I've already transferred my owner's manual. And Sergeant gives you a nice little flashlight. So that's cool. The standard seat did not have a flashlight. And we got a little a badge under here. What's this say? Zone suspension technology, atomic foam. So the, the foam that they use is supposed to be higher quality than the stock. It feels a little bit firmer. And I'm going to have to obviously test this out. I haven't ridden the bike yet with it on. So we'll check that out. And it's got the rubber contact points here. Okay, for width... <clears throat> this is the stock seat over here. See the widest part is about just under just under 13 inches. And then the widest part on the sergeant is over 13 and a half inches. So this is definitely a lot wider. <clears throat> and then this part here kind of slopes down. This is the part right here, this edge, that kind of digs into my pelvic bones and makes it uncomfortable. Whereas here, there's no, there's no edge, it's just flat. And it kind of concaves down in like a cup. <clears throat> Whereas this one is, flat across and then it has these edges you can see that go right here and that's that's the part that kind of gets my my butt the other thing is that right down the middle for us men <laughs> down the middle this whole seat is one piece of foam and it's squishy all throughout whereas the <clears throat> Sergeant, right here in the middle, from right there, whoops, from right here until about here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's about that much in length and about that wide. This whole part here is, there's no, it's empty. So this gives uh, men some a little bit of comfort zone for your, for your guys. But that's the seats side by side. You can see that the sergeant is wider. It's also flat across with the cupping. So kind of you, you feel like you're really kind of tucked in and uh, cradled, if you will. And I believe this is a little lower than the stock seat, but we'll put this in here, get it lined up. Okay, and here's the pod. 
So I've already transferred my toolkit underneath. So it's exactly the same as the stock seat. That's what it looks like. And you can see here, it's got a nice backrest. And it goes in the same way as the stock. So the back end here, this, these little tabs go in first. And then you just click it down. So now it's in, it's in place. So let's uh, pan back a little bit. Camera people. <laughs> And then this, this is what it looks like. So what do you think? Let me get out of the way. Okay, so let's move in here for a closer look. The leather they use on this, see it's, uh, I don't know what the technical term is, but it's uh, pitted, so it's um, very grabby. So when I sat on it, it really grabs your, your pants and holds you in place. And it wraps all the way around here. So this is a uh, really grippy compared to the um, stock seat. I've added this addition. This is the little key because this does have a lock. Okay, so you got the sergeant badging on here and you just push this, this whole thing slides to the left to open. Okay, so now you got a nice, uh, this is like velvet kind of underneath here. It's very soft. Got a decent amount of space in here. There's a light up here with this little, see this little white, I didn't pull it out yet, but if you pull this out, it will activate the battery and there'll be a nice little light in here. I don't need it, so I'm probably just going to leave that there for now. And then there's a lock right here on the back side. So if you go under, there's the lock. And if you go under here, you can see in between here is the lock right there. So it closes. And then I've got the tap, the top case uh, here. So it's kind of in the way, but it, I can, I can still get my hand in there and get, get the key in there. It's a little bit of a challenge if, you, if you've got the top case. And there you go, so it's locked. Okay, so here's my little fanny pack, and this is what I had inside. And see if we can transfer how much of this transfers in. So I always carry a bottle of water, razor blade, earplugs. This is stop and go air compressor. These are the plugs for the tire. And here's the tools for the repair kit. Pair of pliers, the rubber cement for the plugs. And then this is a little Allen wrench I have for when I put my uh, windscreen on the little spoiler. This tightens it down, so I, I keep that with me. Let's see if it closes. Okay, it closes fine. And there's a little bit extra room here for some other little doodads. You know, I don't know, not that much space, but there's some, some areas right here I could fit some more small stuff. Oh, initial impressions, it feels a little firmer than the stock seat. Um, but this foam is supposed to be firmer and give you more support. It's supposed to be a little wider. And that's one of the problems I have with this. The stock seat, after about an hour or an hour and a half in the saddle, it would hit it, where the saddle curved, curved down. Those points there would hit me right in the like bottom pelvic bone area, my like butt bone. And I'd get kind of sore and I'd have to keep squirming around on the seat to find a comfortable spot. This one's a little wider. I can feel it's out further. So I think it's going to support that better and not really kind of dig into those points on my butt. But again, I got to take this for a ride for at least an hour or more to see how that works out. This backrest here, um, I'm, I'm five foot eight. And so I don't have bar risers. This is stock. So... This is kind of what it looks like when I ride. I don't, on a stock seat, I couldn't feel this. And I'm, I'm, I'm short, I'm a shorter rider, so I don't really go back there. But now I can feel just a little bit of movement and I can feel this back pad touching me. So I feel, I feel more like I'm in, in the bike instead of on it. So I feel kind of tucked in. And I think if I, you know, when I'm riding, if I get on the, on the throttle a bit with the torque this bike has, it pushed me back a little bit. 
I'm going to feel this. It's going to touch my back and, and give you that confidence that you're in the bike and you're being held. So I like that feeling. Again, this is all stuff I have to get out in the road and check out and see, see what, what it's like. All right, well, that's it for the install portion. It's basically just plug and play. It's very simple. Um, the capacity of this is plenty for my needs. There's a little bit more room in there if I need to stick something else in there. Maybe one more bottle of water. Again, I really like this red well, well and the red stitching underneath it to tie in the, the red accents on the bike. Overall, I'm very pleased with the look. This is um, gloss black. This paint is, um, it is a gloss. It's not gloss. It's a metallic storm. So it's not the same paint, but it looks, to me, it's really hard to tell the difference. In the sun, you might be able to tell there's a little bit of speckling the metallic in this paint, but it matches nice. This also comes in a carbon fiber, like a dark carbon fiber, but I, I don't have any carbon fiber on the bike other than down here on the Akrapovich pipe, which you can't see, but it's just a little piece. Um, I think the, the, the paint matches. You can order, order this unpainted, and it's kind of a matte, kind of black looking, but... If you have this bike, get spend the extra money and get the get it painted. So this is a gloss black painted version. I'm very happy. It makes the bike look very sporty, um, which I like. I like my RS to be sporty looking. That's why I don't have bar risers or big touring screen or bags on or anything like that, um, which is fine. If you tour a lot, you definitely need that stuff. But uh, that's it. I'll take it for a ride. I'll go for a ride for an hour, hour and a half, and then report back and let you know how, how I felt on it and if my butt hurt or not. Okay, just uh, got out here to Inks Lake State Park to test out the new seat. It was about almost hour and 45 minutes to two hours total from the time I left my house to go meet up with uh, that guy over there. <laughs> <laughs> the hot sweaty mess. <laughs> yeah. And I'm happy to report that there is no butt soreness whatsoever. It seat is very comfortable. Um, I didn't have to squirm around. Usually around the hour mark on the stock seat, I had to kind of give the le left cheek a break, then the right cheek a break, <laughs> kind of <laughs> scoot back and forth. But this one didn't have to. Just. And like I said, you know, it's kind of concave, so your butt sits right in there, very comfortable. Uh, but it is hot, 102 degrees. Yeah, Too hot to ride for some people. Just down to nice cool Gatorade. But let's take a look at this view out here. Inks Lakes, there's a lot of people staying over there across in their mobile homes and whatnot. Okay, that's it from this side. Just got to get the gear on. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard it's, it sucks putting the gear on when you're already sweaty should, it's hard no, to get should, the should, it should just slide right on <laughs> no it gets stuck it's gross that's why i wear the so it's so it keeps you it, does cool. it breathe yes it does it breathe okay. uh helps with the moisture wicking the lady that owns the company i met her in laguna seca it's dnm motorsport and then awesome it, and then it makes it super slick to pull your yep. jacket back on yep they have shirts they have pants for underneath your leathers and uh i think the shirts normally are about 110 bucks but i i got four pairs of them and well worth it no not me i've got i've got a 20 dollar t-shirt that, that is soaked <laughs> under, under. <laughs> oh my goodness all right all right well that's enough yapping Thanks for joining me. See you next time. Later.